Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be word detectives. Just like we have done in module three and other text, we have been looking at unknown words, looking at the illustrations, the words around the word, and the smaller or word parts within the word. So we're going to look today at this word, scoured. Repeat, scoured. We're going to look inside the text and we're going to see if we can figure out what it means. First, I will read the sentence that we find this word. This is in the first page of our book, Cinderella by Marcia Brown. And it says here that the marriage ceremony was hardly over when the stepmother's temper flared up. She could not abide this young girl whose goodness made her own daughter seem more hateful than ever. She gave her the vilest household tasks. It was Cinderella who scoured the pots and scrubbed the stairs. Cinderella who polished the bedchamber of Madame and also those of her daughters. Here we see the word scoured. She scoured the pots and scrubbed the stairs. What clues in, outside the word scoured might tell you what it means? If we look here at the picture. She is scouring, or she scoured the pots and pans. We also see other words around it, like other chores that she did. We can also look inside the word. We notice that the root word of scour, scoured, is scour. So here we see the word scour. The ending is scoured, which makes it past tense. So based on what we found, what do you think scoured means? We know the root word is scour, and the word ending is ed. We looked around and we saw what was inside the text and in the illustrations. And I believe if we use the word cleaned, instead of scoured, it might still make sense. Let's put the word cleaned in for the word scoured in this sentence and see if it makes sense. It was Cinderella who cleaned the pots and scrubbed the stairs. Ooh, does that make sense? I believe it does. Scoured means cleaned. So Cinderella was forced to scour the pots and pans. Maybe you have had to scour some at your house while you've been away from school. I hope that you scour your room every day. Scour is another word for clean. Today you're going to revisit the book Cinderella by Marcia Brown. If you need to look at it again, you can read it by clicking on this link. Then you're going to fill out the story map. So you will double click on the white boxes and you will type in the characters, the setting, the problem, the events. Now remember, these are the important things that happened in the story in order. That's why you see a one, a two, and a three. So be sure to keep your events in order. Then you have your resolution. So you're going to see what ha is happening in the story of Cinderella by filling out the story map. Next, you have another job. You see here a chart of our speaking goals and our listening goals. Today we're going to add a new speaking and we're going to add, a, excuse me, a new listening goal. So you're going to look here, it says listen to compare. That word compare means to look at something and to see what is alike and what is different about something. So today you're going to be listening to compare and as you do that you're going to be looking at our two art pieces. You're going to look at the painting by Millet. You're going to look at the painting by Van Gogh. You're going to see what is alike and different about them. You will do that by 